Hi, I'm Don Baluch. I'm the instruct construction technology instructor at Kansas City, Kansas Community College. Today we're going to talk about uh, fractions part two. Uh, in our area, there's a lot of times that we need to find half of a particular number, and a fraction is sometimes part of that number, so we need to know how to find half of a fraction. So when we're thinking about that, we're finding half of a fraction. Okay, we've done this in class. This is a review for you. When you think of of in mathematical terms, of means times. Well, when we're finding half of a fraction, we are actually, when you consider it, dividing that fraction in two. Well, of means times, so we're just going to cross multiply. One times one is equal to one, and two times 2 is equal to 4, so 1 fourth is half of 1 half. When we consider that same scenario in finding half of a number, we still want to find half of a number even though this next number might be a mixed number. Well, when it's a mixed number, I try to teach you to treat those as two separate problems. So we're going to treat those as two separate problems. If we're taking half of four, everybody knows that one half of four, if you write four as a fraction, is four over one. So once again, of is times, so we take one times four is four, and two times one is 2. We know that from the previous lesson that this is 4. The line means divided by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. So the first problem was 2. Now we can do the fraction part of it, which is 1 half of 1 fourth. Same thing, it's times, 1 times 1 is 1, and 2 times 4 is 8, so that's equal to 1 eighth, so we know that half of a fourth is an eighth, so our final answer is 2 and 1 eighth. Hopefully that will clarify any problems that you might have in finding half of a number.